Welcome to Successful Tradings, where you will learn to trade options as a beginner. Bonjour, bienvenue sur Successful Tradings. Successful Tradings. Successful Tradings. Hello, welcome to Successful Tradings, where you will learn to trade options as a beginner. Bonjour, bienvenue sur Successful Tradings. Welcome to Successful Tradings. Uh, hey, this video is for subscriber of um, the subscription trade alerts at Successful Trading. And this is for the trades going from August the 17th through August the 24th. Yes, that's uh, the, 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 the 17th through the 21st. So yeah, uh, then next week once. Uh, so when I say next week, confuse people. Okay, uh, very, very quickly. I want to somehow talk, touch a little bit uh, regarding last week. I'm going to do a recap on, on the last week performance, but here I uh, think this is going to be reaching the subscriber first. Um, folks, yes, we cannot make money every day, but we can lose money every day. Yeah. So hence the patience we have been talking about if the market is very testing, meaning if the market is not moving, then really we need to just chill. And not do anything yeah so that, that that's really what one of the things and i'm going to be so some of you who reach out to me individually we're going to be identifying reason that i uh, forcing people to force a trade the market has to come to us really and uh, we know that for us one trade one single trade can make a difference for an entire week because we can take small losses on a lot of trades yeah but one win is going to 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 resolve that example in case um, I'm going to transition into a scenario that could happen. Let's say on Monday, a stock gap up. We have it on the watch list alert, but you didn't take the trade on Friday. It's okay. It's okay. You can still trade that and make money on it. See, here's an example of that here, right? Win gapped up on Monday. The 82 calls, they were literally, they were already in the money. Yes, but look. Always get involved when a stock is moving. So a gap in any direction is your opportunity to, to get involved. So these some traders here take, take advantage of that with the different levels of gains. Obviously, almost six times on here, over five times on here on, on, on this trade, a 500% on, on, on there. So 250%, that's good as well, folks. As long as for us, hey, we are taking advantage of that. Last week was difficult, but uh, it wasn't super, super it was difficult, especially early, right? Money were to be made. We made, there the was, not, not that we, when I say we, I need to, to go on that again, begin the success for successful trading is measured onto its traders. This guy is not a measure of that success. Yeah. So for us, we always really try to, uh, to make an emphasis. So we sharing now in this new channel opportunities while, while they present them, them themselves. Uh, that's happened later in the week. There was not that movement, but early in the week, we had these opportunities uh, on there. Yeah. So as long as something is moving has shown even one single instance of a gap get involved with it the easiest way to get involved in trade is by strangling it yeah we know that the movement continues one of the sides is, is bound to make you money win if i can barely type it so it's on here so win gapped up and uh, for us uh, we didn't have that we we put it in the list over the weekend on a saturday so that, that, that didn't deter some people from making good gain gains on it. If anything, that's good. We want a stock to be moving and then we get into it. So what were the big winners they did this, this, this week? Uh, Caterpillar was one of them, folks. Yeah, we, we, we know that that, that that much. Caterpillar was, was, was one of them. So they were highlighted here in the so-called thin baggers or whatever uh, that's, uh, that, that goes on here. Uh, COP, I say COP move. Exactly how much? Let's uh, do, do it with that here. Let, let's bring that very quickly here, but then not like you're wasting time. I just gather these. I'm going to put them, in, they're going to be in the performance. So that just a preview on this video. The average moves was 7 point something percent, but win was a 10 bagger. FedEx was a 10 bagger. I don't know about COP because I didn't track it that much. I, I tracked it later on, but from the time I started tracking it, it wasn't at least 
I, I, I missed the opportunity and now the week is over. I need to do a better job of tracking stuff in there. Caterpillar was a 10 bagger. Qualcomm, you had to be lucky to get a 10 bagger, but the move definitely on two con on two different days, you have will have made money on calls on there when this thing pops. So you take advantage of those and then chill if the 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 the, 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 the the move is not there for, for the stock because the market was dull on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Really, really dull. Not much was moving. Okay, folks, let's take a look at uh, what we are trading next week. Sorry that uh, maybe I'm not maybe. I changed. I added. I just run the system and I added more like last week. Hmm, last time that happened. So last week when we added win, uh, was that one that uh, we added? We added both win and Wells Fargo last week. So let's see. If these here, they're going to behave like that. This is uh, the signal that came in. Let's chase. I'm struggling here. The signal that came in on on Friday is what I just run now, and it added new stuff that we didn't have in there. So Intel, McDonald's, uh, Marathon Petroleum, a Twitter are really those four, right? Intel, McDonald's, Twitter, Metro, Marathon Petroleum. I'm looking for those to show something. The market, overall market, this is something that again, my, the AI, the, the, the computer can see, or at least I can derive that from what we have seen. The market was in consolidation range on Thursday and Friday. So expect expansion this coming week. Yeah. But again, you have to say to trade it. So don't go telling me, hey, Telex, you say expect expansion. I took trade left and right. No, no, no. We have to say if a trade is going to make a thousand percent or five hundred percent, let's just we'll use five hundred percent. I'm sick of that thousand percent ten bagger. It has to go to hundred percent, two hundred percent. So even if you trade it from two hundred percent to four, five hundred percent, it's still decent. Yeah. And if let's say you take a trade and it was just meant to go to two hundred percent, you get involved at two hundred percent, it's not moving. Close it, close, close, close it, and uh, move on with your life. With the people, we're going to talk about stop, stop loss with certain individuals who do not believe in that. But um, we, we need that the, there's a give and take. So in any case, let's go in this list as fast or as um, <laughs> fast as I can, as I've already wasted a great deal of time uh, in, in, in here already. So uh, let's see. I uh, hope this is recording. So <laughs> that would be something. So let's let me go through here again. I'm going to be looking at this list now, but I need to put it to my right and then we go in there uh, to look at it. Uh, okay, so who do I want to use? And actually today I'm going to be using the inside of Power E-Trade to see the price of those options. Yeah, so we are here. Uh, so we put number one, number two. I'm not sure if I'm going to change them. Number three was what? Number three was JD. JD.com because it had earnings. I cannot tell you the price, folks, well, what it's going to be. So hence, I'm going to put that as a, 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 a wild card, right? I'm going to put it at number seven as wild card JD. Um, we, whatever it opens on, on Monday, we will, we will update that. So number three on here, we want to put our new branded one that came in. So Intel, McDonald's, Twitter, and um, Marathon Petroleum. So we are looking at Intel. Intel has been in consolidation forever. Not forever. Let's go take a look at Intel on here. This is the daily chart. Oh my goodness. Wow. How much How much more can, can this thing do? So we are ready for a move, Intel. So to show us something. So... Uh, and on the bullish side, they can say, hey, they're trying to go toward the gap, right? So for us, we're going to put, actually, the gap is this space on here for those newcomers for us. So it dropped, it continued dropping, but it seems as it's stabilized. So let's see if now they can go toward the EMA, which is here, the closest one. It's it barely close above the exponential moving average eight period. So the, the resistance is going to be at 51, the exponential moving average 20 period, the green line. So can we say, let's see how much that worth. So we are looking at 51, 51 or 52 calls. So let's see how much that worth on here, because that's something that I'm definitely sensitive. The 51 calls are for 14 cents, folks. This is a dream type of trade. If this trade really works, folks, yeah, we, this is a trade that 
I don't know how to use that word, my friend. I don't want you to be using that word. So, okay. So let's see. You know the word that I want to use, but I'm not going to use it. Yeah. So let's just say the 51 calls there are going for 14 cents and 15 cents. Oh, geez. I'm buying something at 14, 15 cents. How much money can it be worth later on the week if this thing starts to bullish from? If it's bearish, we know uh, similarly, we have to predict for both sides. Let, let me just use that opportunity here. So the low here was... 47 or so so we will not take two points from there so just say 46 look look at the implied volatility folks at least let's stay in this range right 30 something 20 something you want that yes you want the implied volatility this that that low because that's mean the stock hasn't been moving much lately right can we actually see illustrate that on here compared to recently oh we will have had to have the past which is to see the past of this yeah but this is this uh this is the 30 day average and this is the current folks because the stock hasn't been moving that much the current is actually below the 30 day moving average this is fantastic great teaching memo man on here please if you don't get that ask me you know one-on-one -on -one what that what that means right so intel on here we're excited about intel so we're gonna be taking uh the 46 46 or 47 telex 46 or 47 puts uh, you you got to be writing out this stuff so 51 call we know that much between 14 and 15 cents or even lower because we have to pay the penalty oh man the 47 puts <laughs> they are 12 cents all right man so i i don't know you should guys see you if you open my heart my heart so is it is excitement yeah because they're cheap they're cheap so yeah uh, hopefully i can talk about it on monday so telex telex you have already spent 10 minutes on here so uh that is that is that what you're using as your number three telex yeah just by the price of those options i want to use that as my number three uh number four before was of uh, mu okay we can leave a mu number four we are we also really given the, the the levels on it oh mu 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 my friend yeah okay mu and it was close at oh my goodness 45 60 my goodness are you serious on here so how low can this thing go <laughs> so how low can this thing go so 44 puts okay and if they decide to bounce so on a wiki on here where are we oh my god this is scary stuff folks when a stock start doing something like this folks below moving average right you know my thought process right all the way to the Bollinger Band. <laughs> so, meaning here, if you ask me my bias, I'm not going to tell you to have a bias. No, you trade the direction. Yeah, you start with the direction, but it looks awfully bearish, folks. It look, it look like this thing. Last time we cl we, we closed in this type of thing, we gap down. So, but then again, that was in March where everything was crazy. But ugh, this is ugh, this is scary stuff. Okay. So from 46 and a half, in that case, we say 48 calls. Yeah, that's MU number four. And then number five, we're going to be face Facebook. I'm, I'm going to be speeding through this now, folks. Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook is one of the, 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 the important sig signals as well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, Facebook is an example. I'm really happy. We still have that on the... Every time that Facebook high, uh, alerts, folks, we, we need to be ready for for big move, right? So we... we yeah, because that, that that's what happened. So Facebook on here, in this case, oh, 20... Can we take 20 points on here? just in both directions you guys know that by now we we are privy to that okay this is consolidation on here so 20 points from here choose the open bull injuries at 275 so can we say 275 calls how much are they let's check quickly here how much these are uh again folks we're gonna be doing up to 10 of them then we leave you to do the the rest you sh the rest is you take five percent in each direction right yeah or whenever the move starts, you can say, okay, for you, you want to pick the option, the strike that is between 50, no, no more than 50, 60 cents. Yeah, that, that's a good technique as well. So in this case, here are the 275. How much are they? 79.81. They're going to come down a little bit more. They could actually come down nicely if, they, 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 if we don't know where the market's going to open. So that's the difficulty, right, folks, by us picking this. But the 275, they, 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 they they're expensive enough so but at least they're not three dollars or two dollars or even a dollar fifty so and then on the downside for us we can say we want to take um yeah this is the 242 if you start driving that way so the 242 and a half 242 
and a half or oh, the next why why do you even want to go there the stick to 45 takes one number we don't know we don't want any half things or any things like that so we talked about intel we talked about mu we talked about facebook on here we want to put a really again going to what stock that have been doing things lately mcdonald's mcdonald's have been moving yeah sneakingly they're right there mcdonald's was is one of those stock it doesn't move that much i'm gonna show you that i'm gonna show you that using 20 percent folks these are the type of stuff you want to be in the options you want to be in because you don't need three dollar move on this thing thing you're already in the hundred percent and every sentence every let's say here how, how to teach you this how to teach you this um the delta tell us what's going on i start on the, the the put side but doesn't matter so this means that this means that we are 27 207 oh my goodness so so let's say you pick the two the two or two and a half every move of one dollar generate 20 cents gain on the on the option so for us on here we will say for mcdonald's we're gonna say two uh, telex. how do you want to just take 200 telex 200 puts yeah yep we can do that 200 puts 34 43 we like that and then on the other side you know the symmetry we will we, 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 16 cents for the 215 only eight dollars away eight dollars only four percent for an entire week for this thing what's the atr of of mcdonald's yeah so we use finboos finvis finvis easy for you to say telex so mcdonald's so you see folks if you're able to sit down and just take the time to do this thing you can actually plan your week so for me i'm rushing into this video just for but i shouldn't because that's a teaching opportunity as we are picking this track we have the alerts from the machine we know the average move for 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 them but one of the techniques is to use the atr for instance which i do not have here so i'm going to go to my settings atr stand for average true range yeah instead of the commodity channel index in here which i do not really care about i want the average true range the average true range is by how much in average the stock move each day three dollars so i have five days on here if this stock is moving three dollars in either direction right uh per per day six dollars is not that 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 much of a feast um how much we are we asking seven dollars yeah seven eight dollars two or seven something is trading so it's mcdonald so let's look at it here mcdonald yeah this is a, a big is it no this is 15 minutes i was like that's big sheesh that's just so this is, so, uh, this, this is what mcdonald does right eh? so not much not much not much and then you get a big candle or anything so let's see here folks this thing will have to attack the upper bollinger really or then come to the the, the 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 moving average so 200 and 215 calls is what 200 puts and 215 calls is what we are picking for mcdonald's uh mpc metro no nope, not metro something is marathon petroleum corporation i haven't traded this for that long folks but the signal is strong the signal again so we have four strong signal intel no five of them intel facebook okay telex instead of you guessing can you tell the people there's so-called strong signal so facebook intel <laughs> so this is this is them folks yeah you don't need to know this stuff but in any case uh, just just for my sake yeah so npc is that is that strong signal on there so uh yes so npc and if we go to the it's just above moving average there both but let's go to weekly and see the range of oh my goodness oh <laughs> look at this thing has been consolidating forever this is a perfect setup for a trade you take a struggle on this you just go wherever you want to go and come back and collect the money yeah <laughs> it has to pick a direction i mean we don't want another candle of two dollars yeah really so from 38 what are we gonna pick the intellex so telex you're expecting a big move here yeah i'm expecting three dollars so so if you give me 41 i will take that how much is 41 for mpc 41 calls for august the 20th yeah oh this is monthly expiration folks expect games oh yeah expand game the 41 calls folks they are going for six cents meaning that they're gonna be six cents at the open so meaning 
please, if you can do gangster trade on this one, please, yeah? The 39 and a half, if you want to be in the money sooner, but I like round numbers because especially with, with um, the expiration, the monthly expiration. So NPC, I'm going to say 40 calls. Oh my goodness. Man, this is good. Oof. Just watching this, this actually wants me to trade, which is a danger because over trade, there are so many opportunities, cheap things. But be careful, folks. Be careful. This is expiration week. So, and on the downside, because this thing is just has, has been really flat. So if we want $3 on the other side, can we say 35? But they're gonna be so cheap, 13 cents. 35 and a half. Or how about 36? Okay, so let's take 36 puts. 36 puts for NPC. Excellent. So we have done that one. Another hot, another hot, another uh, potent alert here. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Twitter, Twitter. Oh, no, no. <laughs> this guy is just, he's just so funny. Okay, Twitter, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> so there's this comedian on YouTube who used that. As one of his cash rate. What's going on here? <laughs> Look at how tight the Bollinger Bands are, folks. Yeah? So, week of this, this is what, what make people lose money in the, in the past week, right? A lot of stock would will, will have done this. So, after a period like this one on here, we spec expansion. So, on Twitter, at $38 virtually. So, we're going to do the same thing as on the other one. So, let's say $2 move. Where's the, yeah, 40 That's where the upper Bollinger is. And so $2 on each side, we're going to say from 38, we're going to say 40 calls for Twitter, for Twitter, for Twitter, Twitter, and 36 puts for Twitter. So in which case, uh, what, what is the system telling us for Twitter in this thing? Twitter, okay, has a 40% of being calls. Okay. I told you the system tells me that. But again, doesn't mean anything if the market comes to be down or up the the, the the week where we're trading that 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 that's just statistic oh boy yeah okay so twitter twitter 36 18 cents all right so it was any other stock other than twitter i will definitely be excited about it but twitter 22 cents oh folks a lot of cheap things on here meaning that you know, i hate to say that again i'm not promising anything just from the price of the stock that we have seen so far yeah folks the, on the strike the probability of 10 baggers, it's uh, very high because they are cheap. And again, meaning the market has been really consolidating the last three three days or so. So we, if, let's say, they start expanding in either direction, because not as if the calls are more expensive than the puts or vice versa, right? It's in either direction. For us, we, trade, we start a trade with the direction. So that's important, folks. If you're watching the video for the first time, the number that I'm going to be typing there, I say calls, and then it means all. Oh, that's that's the all sign, meaning you trade the direction. And how do you know the direction you are trading? You use video one and video two of your onboarding uh, email or onboarding video. So who do we have next here? So we talked about Intel. We talked about MU, Facebook, McDonald's, MPC, Marathon Petroleum. We talked about Twitter. Uh, <laughs> so this guy. This guy, who, 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 who do we happen to like as well? We happen to like this tiny stock. Oh, we say JD. Yeah, JD, we're going to trade it wherever, right? So I have to put JD there. Okay, number nine, number 10. And I'm going to, after 10, I do just one more because I'm two minutes over my allocated time of uh, 20 minutes. But then again, hey, I'm trying to provide value on here. So the rest of the stock, folks, yeah, you do your analysis and you put the 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 strike in here in your watch list i'm gonna do that as well so i'm not doing the full list right i'm gonna do uh, two more on here from this list let, let, let's bring the list on to see which one we have done so far so the one that we're going to write so we did twitter facebook marathon mcdonald's intel jd is roku and workday which are there uh last but not least who are we going to uplift out of here um a lot of things are happening with uh, the 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 biopharma. So Johnson and Johnson is here, J and J, but definitely the index itself, IBB, it's something that doesn't move that much. But uh, again, it always pop when one of those companies they say, oh, they have a vaccine or they tested whatever vaccine. So look at for 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 these um, for for the the, the biopharma on here. I want to to oh geez, I had to do Trilo. Okay, we're gonna do Trilo and. Um, 
Macron, FCX, FCX, we can leave XCX because I can do that anytime during the, during the week, right? Is allowed it, so you can pick. A straddle on FCX is always your, your friend, right? So 1378, the straddle can be straddle, meaning same uh, strike for put and option. So in this case, 13 and a half, yeah, that I will do. So I'm going to do Trilo and Macron, and then the rest, you can derive them just using um a five percent in either direction yeah why because your average move per trade is nine percent you take half of that yeah so uh if, if you remember just that so far in this system you are going to you are doing well you are doing well my friend that's that comedian on youtube said that as well which one did we say that we are going to do you have already forgotten so jesus christ mu 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 mm, no we have already done mu telex come on now you're funny this is how you're wasting people's time. <laughs> we say that free port, we can do that. So I mean, so the, the last two that we're going to do here are going to be um, Trilo and Paper. All right, Trilo and Paper. Let me write them down here uh, in that order. Trilo and Paper. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Trilo, oh my goodness. Somebody, was that Mr. Shea who said that? He, he said LOL. I hate you, L O L. Well, my friend, I don't know. Look at this. So somebody asked us about on Friday. We we we, we looked at this. Stuff. This thing has been done. I mean, nothing. Yeah, one two forty or six. I've talked about the value of that two two forty. Jeez. On from a weekly perspective, this week, this past week, right? Look, look at the size of this candle. This is the smallest candle this thing has done. A candle of what? Not. Please. It looks like okay. 252 to 238 14 points or so folks there wasn't that much money to be made on it because depending on how how did it start the week let's go on the daily so meaning if you took the trade starting on monday we close at 250 then wednesday by wednesday here you hit 240 yeah but really not much this this thing has done has been doing nothing so from a probability standpoint we're definitely going to be looking for 20 point move so the 20 point move so the 20 point move let's go take a look are they expensive i don't they are they they are more expensive than um others they are compared to the cheap stuff that we have seen hence hey you know that right so meaning you prefer to take more contracts for intel for instance versus Trill because they are cheaper and uh, your return on investment and you don't have the headaches and uh, so i don't know when this thing moves, sometimes it moves, but when it doesn't move, so we don't want this. It's not Intel Telex, it's Trilo. Come on, get your act together. Trilo, 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 Trilo. Okay, so Trilo, where's Trilo showing us those? Though that they are mistyped, was it? I don't know. I, I type it T-L-W-O. <laughs> and my friend, my friend, uh, <laughs> one of my friends, <laughs> why would you mean this? <laughs> I was embarrassed. <laughs> Okay, you see the two sixty one dollar something. No way I'm spending one dollar on Trilo. I don't care as a starting position. I don't care. That, that, that's too much. I would accept to say, hey, I'm gonna put fifty cents and lose it. Yeah. So hence two sixty. They 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 are not something. The uh, earlier I can go with this would be two sixty five on the call side. Besides, the chart is bearish. Yeah. So hence I want to spend as less money on the call. Should it head fake? that is above VWAP and posting higher highs. I think whatever furthest ex uh, strike that I can get. So 265 here for, yeah, this is decent. This spread is actually decent. Okay, so Trilo, no pressure. Whichever direction you want to go, we want to make money on you. So why did you change the next stay on Trilo and get us the strike for the puts, which right now are my bias, if you were to ask me. But then again, it didn't work really that good for me last week, did it? Um, 220 over a dollar Yeesh, i wouldn't know folks i wouldn't know so i don't know about that 210 yeah 210 210 puts again just because this stock if they decide to go sideways for the most part i don't want to lose that money money this means that if i put my so-called stop loss at 50 percent of this if i start putting in uh again i'm gonna uh scale into the trade meaning i don't put my full position in if my full position is a hundred dollars or whatever i'm going to start with one contract here so yeah and then see what what, what how that goes and then as it start moving in my favor i can add more contract anytime you have the luxury of doing that folks that's uh, a technique at your disposal 
uh, your disposition to be able to, 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 to do that. So last but not least, paper 191. Let's first look at the charts before we come to the option chain. PayPal. PayPal is one of those sneakingly. I haven't been able to consistently trade this one because I haven't traded it that much. But I. Let's see. Okay, 200 was. So this is a weekly last week. So we went from 199 to 186. 14 points. Not bad. The previous week, 204. Today we had six points. Six point move. So it wasn't that much. And then the week before that was like, oh, that was the earning week, right? So now what are we looking at? Let's go to the daily charts and see where support and resistance lie. So, okay, we just closed below the exponential moving average 8 period, which is the yellow line. We are above the exponential moving average 20 period, which is the green line. So which way is this thing going? Is this thing going back to this point, to the all-time high? We, that's what... For us, for those the, the the bulls they could hope for, so we are going to put that so uh, two or seven. I don't know how what is the trend by range of a range of two point five dollars. So in that case, uh, two or seven and a half. But let's go check now because we know uh, approximately where what we are looking at. So uh, people, oh, we are on the put side. Let me check the, the call side first. Not that I'm biased on anything. You know me. 22 cents we like that so we can even say we can feel comfortable 205 calls yeah going for 36 bid 40 ask it's gonna be lower than that because we are paying for theta over the weekend folks be aware of that so hence it's not always it don't need to say hey i'm gonna have a gap on monday you can have a gap and still lose money on the position because uh theta is stronger it's, it's theta takes more than the gap uh, the gap that it generates most of the time though the gap enable you to start a little bit ahead but never never it gaps it just tells you hey get involved in the tree and start directionally there so i'm confused on here because folks i'm trying to really really wrap this thing up today i'm trying to wrap this thing up 31 minutes i'm gonna get killed over this <laughs> 100 i have don't you own this stuff folks Telex, come on now uh 180 yeah 180 puts for paper i think it's not i think based on which i'm observing the market is gonna move next week folks really i, I it's not a promise or anything just uh based on what i'm seeing the number of alerts that the system ha has shown me is what uh is leading that i thank you for your patience please please very please let's use patience um the gains are going to be there. If we are waiting for them and we are patient, we will be able to execute them with confidence. Thank you very much. Very much. I will continue to cater the content of this channel to your liking. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, welcome to Successful Trade.